guys, it's Lydia, and uh, today I want to show you what I purchased at the um, at the boat store, the marine store. I want you to see that I bought the 303. This is for marine. So you put it on anything that's rubber on the boat to protect it because it's it's always exposed to the sun. So I purchased this for the rubber in my RV for the windows because if you see that they're getting cracked and faded. In my other RV, the Winnebago that I bought, they were all cracked and faded because the sun here in Florida is really bad. You look here, right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat it here because it's starting to fade and it's starting to crack all this rubber. So this is a UV protectant for, uh, for rubber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to want to wear gloves with this. If you read the instructions, this is highly toxic and I don't like using toxic stuff but some things you just have to use so I have gloves on I'm gonna wear a face mask and I'm also gonna wear face goggles I know you want to use this outside and you don't want to use it on a windy day you don't want any of this stuff getting on you I'm gonna rub it on first I'm gonna spray my rag and I'm using paper towels and I'm just gonna toss them in the trash when I'm done um, I think that's the safest, safest way to go first thing that I'm gonna do I have my protection on I got my um, I got my nose mask on and I got my goggles on and I'm shaking this stuff off really good. Here, see, I got a paper towel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray, really wet that in. So then you're gonna see, I'm gonna start rubbing it all over the rubber right here. You want to get right into the nooks and crannies all over. It starts to get shiny right away. And it looks really good. Okay. Shine thick like oil. It's like an oil. But it's not thick like an oil. You'll see it going on. And you're going to let it sit for a while. I let it sit. And then I'm going to rub off the excess because you want you want it to absorb into the rubber just going over it just to make sure that I'm spreading it really well see just spread it around really well when you first get it you might you might have to go around that a few times because your rubber is so dry it's going to absorb most of it and you really want to rub it in okay so there you go that one's done I'm going to do my next window really well spread it out it's going to suck it in. I'm going to have to put another coat over this because the minute you put it on, you're going to see the rubber is so dry. And this just has UV protectant, so it's going to protect the rubber. My Winnebago had really bad windows. Really bad. I mean, they put nothing on them. And that's going to hurt your resale value if you're planning on turning it around in the future. If not, it's going to cost you a lot more money and a lot of work to replace that. I say maintenance is the key if you want to be able to sell your RV in the future. Trade it in for something else. The problem is a lot of people, you see all these RVs out there with 30,000 miles on it. 40,000 miles, people buy them. They don't do any maintenance to them and they sell them. And you're thinking you're getting a good buy. Whatever maintenance they didn't do, you're going to end up doing it. And it's expensive. Big class A's are expensive to maintain. Cost a lot of money if you don't do it yourself. Okay, so I didn't show you what I was doing because it's hard for me to talk with this on and apply it. It's my outdoor kitchen and right here where the rubber is, see? See the rubber right there? This rubber here that's in my outdoor kitchen. All around, what I'm gonna do, I put some of that on there as well to protect that. But in this too, the door, see my door? Right here I have rubber. And I sprayed it on here. Then there's another one that I do it on too. And it's going to be this stuff here. You see? So this is my barbecue cover. And see that? It's cracking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the UV protectant that's for boats. I'm going to spray it on my tire cover and my barbecue cover I have to spend some money on a new cover and if i can hold on to something for a little bit longer then i'd rather do that so i'm gonna apply it 
and I'll show you how I do it. So I just, on the big surfaces like this, you're just going to want to spray it on. Make sure there's no pets in the area. My cat's indoors. But you don't want them to be underneath. So you're just going to spray it on and then you're going to rub it in. See how, see how nice and shiny it's getting? Now I already wiped off all the dust. I washed this already. But I did wipe off the dust because there's there's going to be dust, especially since I, I mowed the lawn yesterday. So, And you're going to try to get it in. And you'll see some part, it's going to be spotted at first because it's absorbing where it needs to. Where it's the most, where it's the most dry, it's going to absorb. Get underneath too because when you're splashing or in the rain on the road, especially if you travel where there's salt, the snow you're gonna want to get in there and rub that on that too because it's not just a UV protectant I mean it'll, it'll protect it from the elements as well so that's what you want to do here's, here's my rag so I'm gonna come back in a few minutes a few minutes after I'm done with the other one and and do another one on there okay so now I'm gonna do the tire cover oh I'm gonna spray the tire. Now, I don't get big bottles of this. This stuff is sold in big bottles. I get the smaller bottle. First of all, I don't do it all the time, it's a couple, every couple of months. I mean, I don't have a boat, you know, for a boat it's different because a boat is all open. RVs are closed. You just have the exterior to worry about, which is not that much stuff. You can see this absorbing because it's just sucking it in. It's so dry. Look at that. So there you go it's starting to look really nice hey guys, i also wanted to tell you that um these are my tire covers look at the way that they're all they're all cracked these are vinyl and i'm due for some new ones i'm going to be going to the store and getting some new ones so when i get the new ones i'm going to be spraying the 303 marine protectant on them because the 303 is made for vinyl also and if I would have used it when I bought these, this, these would not be in this shape. These are only about two years old. You know, you can imagine a boat is sitting out all day long in the sun. The seats are going to get cracked if you don't spray something on it. That's what the 303 is so important. So if you want to preserve your um, tire covers for a long time, you know, every six months, you might want to uh, spray some of that on the tire cover so you're not having to buy them repeatedly. So yeah, this is what the tire covers look like without the protectant and my new tire covers, I'll be spraying uh, the protectant on that. I'll probably do this again in August, only because I live in Florida. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get a paper towel and just rub some of it off. And that's it. Nice and buff it in. Looks good. Doesn't look cracked. Doesn't look worn. Look. Looks nice and shiny. Restored it back to what it should look like. Okay guys, see you later.